If it's trash, turn it off. But if it has value, please share it out for me. Of course, it's brought to you by MaxEffortMuscle.com for all your supplement needs. All right, Daily Fire episode 322. Are you interested or are you obsessed? This is, uh, this is an interesting, huh, no play on words there, kind of thought process. So when people use the word obsession, that usually has a negative connotation to it. But I would argue that when you're trying to be great at your craft, you can't just be interested. So I'm just not interested in having a good physique. I'm just not interested in being strong. I'm just not interested in helping people. I'm just not interested in, you know, forcing my life. I can't even say it in interest, like forcing my life to be better. I'm fucking obsessed about it. That's why I train at fucking 4 a.m. That's why I like knowingly want to get up at 320. That's why I can't wait to be here to compete. That's why it doesn't bother me to eat good. That's why I can't wait to compete still up in the like the master's years. Like it's not like something that somebody's taking away from me. I'm willingly doing it because it's what I do. Not only am I passionate about it, I'm obsessed about it. And I don't take that in a fucking negative way. I take it in a serious way. Now, can I have fun, be jovial and all that? Of course I can. But I'm serious about what I'm about and what I do. And there is an obsessive quality. You could be obsessed about a, loss, a lot worse things. That's the way I kind of look at it. But the reality is like, I'm not trying to be just a good local trainer. I'm not trying to be just a good trainer in my state. I was always trying to be one of the top guys in my profession. And I want to stand the test of time that this is what I do for my whole career. I'm not a one trick, one time, one relationship, one company. I'm a motherfucking weightlifter. I get people results. The things I do are completely unique. I do lots of trial and error. I test things. I'm my own science project. I'm authentic. You can't fucking rip me off. Go ahead and try. The reality is I'm not fucking just interested in success. I'm obsessed with it. And so when people come to learn from me, they know I'm about it. If I wasn't about it, I wouldn't be training at 4 a.m. for fucking a decade plus. Before then it was at five. So it's like if you're just interested in getting better, I'm gonna fucking whoop your ass. If you're just interested in maybe a little of this, you're gonna have minimal results. When you do this as your profession, you have to be obsessed. You have to remember, lifting weights and eating healthy and training or exercising is most people's hobby. It is not my fucking hobby. It is my passion, it is part of my purpose, and it is my obsession. That is it. So when you wanna change, you come to me. Because it's the first thing I think about every day. It's the thing I care about when I get up to fucking go after it and compete. I jump out of bed at 320 excited to walk through the fucking doors at old school. I can't wait to get back here to help the guys with max effort and build the business with them. Like this is what I do. It's not on accident, it's on purpose. It's not because I'm interested, it's because I'm obsessed. And if you want to attempt and I'm not even saying that I'm great, I'm just trying to give it a chance that maybe one day somebody will think that, or I'll think that about my damn self, or my family will think that, or there'll be a legacy that's there that I can build by taking this type of obsession to it every fucking day, because I want to be good and great at this craft, and if that's what you want to do in your line of work, that's how it has to sound. So it might sound serious, it might sound fucking kind of dickish at times, but this ain't my fucking hobby. This is what I do, and if you want to get better, you come to Corey G Fitness and Max Effort Muscle because it ain't fake, the shit is real, and I'm not just interested, I'm obsessed.